Hello, Aquarius souls. Welcome to your reading. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki, and I use my clairaudient and channeling abilities to help people find the magic within. If you're new here, welcome. I am so excited to be doing this reading for you today. This week's series, I am channeling messages from motivational songs for each zodiac sign. I felt called to do this series because in the collective, there is a lot of energy of wanting to give up on something or not wanting to persist and persevere. So Spirit is coming through with some messages for each zodiac sign to uplift you, to inspire you, or to bring some clarity that you may need to hear at this time. So let's see what your motivational song is, Aquarius. I will be pulling a song that Spirit chooses from a Spotify playlist called 100 Motivational Songs in the World. So let's see what your song is. We have The Climb by Miley Cyrus. So I'm going to go channel the lyrics from that song and I will be right back. Sit tight. Okay, Aquarius, here are your channeled lyrics from the song The Climb by Miley Cyrus. The struggles I'm facing, the chances I'm taking, sometimes might knock me down, but no, I'm not breaking. I will also be pulling one card from four different decks, the first of which is the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. Thank you, Spirit. What are your additional messages from my Aquarius souls? We have service. Next, we'll pull a card from the Zombie Tarot deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? We have the Eight of Swords. Next, we'll pull a card from the Super Attractor deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? When I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction, and great wisdom. And the final deck of cards we are using is the Disney Villain deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your final messages for my Aquarius souls? We have the Knight of Swords. Okay, Aquarius, let's reflect on your lyrics one more time. The struggles I'm facing. So, Spirit is showing me that you're going through some difficult things. And there's a lot of worry here. And with the cards that have shown up here, for a lot of you I feel that it has to do with an illness that 
you are battling or a loved one who is battling an illness that you are being there for them right now because we have service and this shows a young lady sitting on a stool and she's comforting a loved one who is in the hospital perhaps could be hospice who's battling a disease or illness of some sort so there's there's a lot of love here in this connection and you being there for your loved one in this way it is very valued it is very cherished i'm also hearing a lot of prayers that you have been saying to the divine wanting healing with this wanting clarity and i'm being drawn to the card here when i connect to the spiritual realm I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction, and great wisdom. So whatever you've been communicating, whatever your intentions have, you've been setting it out into the universe. There is something here about not truly believing what you're setting out. Because when you connect to the spiritual realm, like this card says, you open the door to actually receive the divine guidance, clear direction, and great wisdom. But all of that must come first by truly believing in the divine guidance that the angels, your spirit guides, are giving you at this time, okay? Um, I, I do feel the energy. It's very heavy. I do feel the struggles that you are currently facing. And I'm being drawn to the Eight of Swords. So there is definitely something very strong coming through in regards to health. Because look at the rib cage. So I feel for a lot of you it has to do with the heart, the lungs, or what's ever in the, this area of the body that's showing on the Eight of Swords here. But what's also interesting about the Eight of Swords See the guy at the bottom there? He, it's like he's trying to break out of this prison that he feels like he is trapped in. So there's this feeling of when are things going to get better? Are things going to turn around here? Does anybody hear me? Does God hear my prayers? And the answer is, is yes, they do. And it, it, it's always so difficult when there is... A sense of feeling like you're not heard feeling like things aren't going to get better and still keeping that positive attitude but yet still not seeing the results that you want this is what I'm feeling very strongly but spirit is saying to keep setting those attentions to not give up with thinking positively about the situation now we cannot control the situation itself or the difficulties that we we go through but we can control how we respond to them how we relate to the situation and when it comes to difficult situations like this it's important to feel your emotions to continue to be there for yourself to continue to be there for your loved ones who are experiencing this struggle right there with you and not allowing the situation to break you, okay? Because I'm drawn to the lyrics here. The struggles I'm facing, the chances I'm taking. So there's a lot of sacrifice being put in here, a lot of risks being taken, wanting to do whatever it takes to see more healthy realizations in your reality see your loved one get healthy see yourself get healthy taking whatever chance you can to make that happen sometimes the chances I'm taking might knock me down but no I'm not breaking and there's something very powerful about the struggle you're going through right now Aquarius there's something within this situation that you're meant to share in some way creatively in the world at some point right now 
it doesn't feel like that because you're immersed in it and you're feeling the emotions, you're feeling the struggle, you're setting positive intentions to manifest a better reality here. And what I'm hearing very strongly is from spirit is to to honor the pain you're feeling because this is a big part of the experience and you're not doing anything wrong and no this situation it was not your fault if some of you have been feeling guilty or been putting yourself down in terms of why things happened the way they did this is how it's meant to happen everything that's progressing here is how it's meant to be so I'm hearing not to be hard on yourself, but also to honor the pain that you're feeling because that is what is most important. Like I feel like you're putting on a really brave, strong face and sometimes the best thing you can do is allow yourself to be vulnerable with your family. And sometimes that can be hard too, especially if there are family members who think it's a weakness to cry or that you have to be strong. But no, if if you're feeling vulnerable and you're crying in that moment, even if you're met with resistance by your family members who think that crying is a weakness, you're actually showing them another way of being. You're showing them the strong way to handle a situation like this. It shows your human side. It shows your humanity, okay? So I would like to connect with spirit here and see what specific messages I can hear clear audiently. Thank you, spirit. What other messages do you have for my Aquarius souls? Thank you. I'm hearing, it, 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 all they're saying is like riffle raffle. So what I'm seeing is that a lot of you have a very fun way of communicating with your loved ones, not taking everything so seriously. It's like bringing humor into the situation, even though it feels so dark and bleak. I, I'm I'm being shown how someone sits next to the hospital bed like much like in this card here it looks very similar but what I'm being shown is how the person laying in the bed and the person who's sitting on the stool here how they laugh with each other and it, it's like leaving this person with a smile before you leave for the night not leaving them with yeah, things are dark and bleak. I don't know what's going to happen. It's leaving them with that joy and that hope before you walk out the door. It's, it's the last thing you see is a smile on on their face before you walk out the door. There's something so powerful about that. And it really does help to manifest more hope. And it helps the person who is experiencing the illness, whether that's you or them, it helps them have the hope that things are looking up and a smile, a laugh, it really does do a lot to shift the energy. So keeping things lighthearted, if it's feeling too dark and too bleak, doing what you can to make the other person laugh, doing what you can to stay in a joyful place, um, of humor and comedy to lighten the mood will help shift some energy around and, and people won't be so focused on everything that's going wrong even though that that's not taken away from what is going on it's it's choosing to stay positive and bring humor into the situation and light up the room with smiles rather than you know expecting the worst from the situation so there there's something very powerful here about not allowing those negative thoughts 
and expecting the worst to keep you in that eight of swords energy where you feel like you may be trapped in this situation and there's no way out spirit is saying there is a way out it's all about perception and i do feel that you are someone who's very funny you have an amazing sense of humor and even just by walking into a room like i see when you walk in the room whoever is experiencing the illness when they see you their whole face lights up because then it, it reminds them that this is a joyful person that they love to be around this is it's like this is the time of the day where things are good because I have my uh, my loved one here to put a smile on my face while everyone else here is just being so dark and bleak no I have this light in my life who will uplift me, encourage me, and, and put a smile on my face rather than make me feel, you know, like everything is just terrible and focusing on the problems. And that's not taken away from what is going on. It's helping to bring hope, inspire joy, to leave someone with a smile on their face when you go home for the night and the same for you if you're the one experiencing the, the illness okay what is going on here with the knight of swords yeah see how they're laughing on the card there it, there's something here about i feel like someone here has a raunchy sense of humor i'm picking up on like <laughs> like raunchy jokes that just make you like really really laugh and I completely know what this is like. I have a few of these souls in my family lineage. And I can get down with a raunchy joke. I, when done correctly, it depends on the joke itself. But I do feel like there's somebody here who has like a raunchy sense of humor. But it's really funny. And it just kind of has this energy of dissipating that seriousness because see how the little dragon is kind of like ah like laughing goofy on the card here and the man's just like chuckling it's like they have like this this inside humor between them that only they get you know what else is going on with the knight of swords here spirit thank you I'm hearing the word maneuver. I'm seeing with this card, I'm being drawn to the boat or whatever it is in the background. Like, I think this is what they travel on to get from one place to a, another. I'm, there's something here about moving rooms a lot. And there's something about that that's shifting the energy. Um... I'm hearing something about environment, which is interesting because this is something that I studied this morning when it comes to manifestation. Environment really does matter. So if you feel that you're in an environment or your loved one is in an environment that feels like these people that are around you, like the nurses or the doctors, are projecting negative energy, you can set some intentions to manifest a maneuver to another room to set the intention that you're you and your loved one are only working with heart-centered people who see the best in the situation who want the best in the situation and just manifesting a new room a new environment that helps you focus more on beauty help like perhaps you'll see a manifestation of being moved to another hospital room where there's a beautiful view overlooking a garden where you can look at beautiful roses, beautiful flowers, or just a beautiful view of the city, a beautiful view of the, the sky. Environment really does matter, especially when going through something dark like this. It's very, being very intentional about focusing on the beauty and the 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 beautiful things in our reality and, and choosing to focus on those that will help to, to 
um, bring in your manifestation as well. Environment matters. So if you feel like you need to move to another room or move your loved one to another room, set those intentions of what you would want that to look like and then watch as the universe works in your favor there. So any final messages for Aquarius spirit? Thank you. Yeah, they're, they're just really emphasizing laughing. Laugh as much as you can. Focusing on the good, focusing on beautiful things. While not taken away from the experience itself, feeling what you need to feel, but just remaining lighthearted and knowing that the intentions you set, the environment that you're in, it all matters with what you're experiencing during this challenging time but I'm being drawn to the lyric here no I'm not breaking this situation is not breaking you Aquarius it is making you stronger you are learning a lot from it and it's an opportunity for you to grow even more on your spiritual journey okay so that is all that I am seeing those are your messages if your reading resonated if you enjoyed it please be sure to like subscribe comment down below and I will see you on the next video. Bye.